Welcome to ADSR, I'm Steven Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media. Last month I had taken a look at a pretty cool Max for Live plugin by Audio Modern called Random Groove Generator. And it was a lot of fun because it was a way to kind of kickstart ideas that you wouldn't necessarily have, kind of bring some random factors into your production. And just generally maybe get you thinking along ideas of grooves that you wouldn't necessarily think of on your own naturally. So after working with that a little bit, I decided to take a look at another tool, also a Max for Live plugin by Audio Modern. It's the Random Riff Generator. And if anything, I think this might even be more of a fun tool than the Groove Generator. What we have here is just the ability to generate any number of steps, any particular scale or key, and then adjust all kinds of variables either randomly or ourselves after we've got something going. So this isn't really a way to just have something generate something for you. It's a way to get the seed of an idea that you can then develop into something of your own. So it's a fairly simple interface. We can choose the number of steps in there and whether it's looping one or more than one. And then we can choose a particular scale, particular mode of that. So a root of G, I got Phrygian selected here. You can choose quantize, shuffle, and move things forward and back. But let's give it a listen first. I've got a bunch of presets that I had just saved up while I was setting up for this tutorial. Let you hear what it can do, and then we'll look at the kind of the randomization factors. I've got this playing into a instrument rack that's got four different layers built into it, and I'll, I'll break it down as we move forward so we kind of hear how some of the layers react because different things are gonna react differently to this kind of instrument. So overall, I've got this basic kind of groove here. Let's kill everything else. That's a pretty cool arpeggiator figure, you know, and it's just something that I was able to kind of develop a little bit. And the layering goes a long way, but we can have this at any time, choose a new slot, for example, let's go to another one, and say we want to randomize. And we just did that. We just randomize primarily duration. We can look at pitch, volume, or we can link them all together. So lots of fun ways we can just get an idea started and then immediately start messing around with different you know, characterizations of it. At any given point, we can maybe change that scale. Adjust our velocities, unlink those. Something like we can always come in here and tweak any individual parameter. And pitches, we can just literally see something that's almost there but not quite, we can just move it around. If we decide we want to move it up in pitch, Thank <laughs> you. 
So lots of neat things happening in there. The ability to come over here and just create a new slot, generate some ideas. Maybe try playing it backwards or rotating even across the timeline. Shuffle in. And we get some pretty cool things happening here because we can at any time save it, maybe then go to another one, keep some of the same parameters, but start adjusting, say. Effectively, we just wrote four phrases of a little solo there, even. So lots of real fun stuff there. It's a really cool way to explore and try all kinds of different things all kinds of scales you would never think about. And then at the same time, we can put on auto start or keyboard triggered, chord enable. I think these kinds of things can be a great way to kickstart some creative ideas. It's not really a replacement for talent. You have to make as many creative decisions here as you do otherwise. You just got more interesting ground to start from and lots of really cool ways to explore with this tool. There's a fairly simple but detailed help manual that comes with it and it works great and whether it's building up layered pads or plucks or just generating some random ideas. I actually like to use things like this as well, just to get some cool ideas going and then maybe focus on aspects of say sound design or setting up a mix or a rack like I did with this case. And I'm pretty pleased with the sounds of this rack overall when I bring these voices together. I don't think I would have been able to find that if I didn't have such a cool idea running behind it and kind of stirring the creativity itself. So a lot of fun stuff there. Random Riff Generator Pro from Audio Modern. It's a Max for Live plugin that's available. There's a free version that's available, and then there's the Pro version, which is very affordable. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was less than you know $30 or something. Thank you very much for checking this out. I'm Stephen Ellistead for ADSR. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. Have a great day.